Book Saga, an amazing story about the origin and evolution of mankind. The Scandinavian countries are full of sagas and mythologies. So has Finland, for instance, the Kalevala. And the Kalevala was written in the 16th century after it was collected by somebody because the material for the Kalevala comes from generation to generation, the stories, the songs, and everything relates to that old hidden time of which not so much is known. Then also in Scandinavia, in Copenhagen, they have in the museum the so-called Edda, which again talks about this hidden time and it relates about the gods and the heroes. And stories both from the Edda and the Kalevala, they are a little bit the same, they have the same kind of figures and if you want you can make some kind of story out of it. Now, the newest on the area of Scandinavian mythologies is called the Bok Saga. And this is fascinating right from the beginning because this Bok Saga is not written down. Up till today there is no written recordings of this story. It lives in the mind of one single man, a Finnish guy called Ior Bok. And this Eeyore book, since 1984, he is talking almost daily, story after story, a mix of mythology, of symbolic language, of what he says, history, and he blends it to such an amazing unity that I decided to go and visit him. He lives outside of Helsinki, in a place called Gumbostrand. Mr. Eeyore Box residence and I have a chance to talk with Michelle, Michelle Merle who is here and who has been talking a lot about this box saga. Actually I call him a specialist although you say you're not a specialist I find you a real specialist uh -huh. and I wanted to ask you how did you get to know this box saga how did you find out about it? Uh, it's called uh, Bok Saga or Wijnemolen Mythology. It is a mythology that still exists in Finland and it uh, specifically relates to Udenma, which is one province still existing today in the south of Finland. Uh, we are now in that area. And um, I have one friend here who I met many years ago in 1975. And uh, we have been meeting each other regularly traveling together and in 1984 um, shortly before his mother died he had the right from the family to start to open this subject uh, Leinemann and mythology or box saga and that's your book you're talking about yeah right? and this saga I know it takes you probably a lifetime to really find out but could you try to very shortly condensed say like about which time this saga talks for instance and um, yeah. just the big headlines uh, the box saga or dynamo mythology is based on the sound of the root language 
the language which is still spoken in the archipelago uh, in front of Udenma, uh, this province in the south part of Finland. Um, it's a language which we today call Swedish language, but it's actually not Swedish. Um, the Swedish, they sing the sounds of the root language, whereas the root-speaking people speak the same as you and I speak. Uh, this root language consists of 29 sounds, where every sound has a meaning. And it is our language by itself which basically tells uh, this mythology. Um, it's a very long you, story, you like you say. Just to make it more clear that by really understanding this root language, you automatically start to understand the saga? No, no, no. The saga is different, of course. I mean, we don't have any information relating to this saga because it has never been written. It has been orally transferred within this family. And, of course, there has been one time in the history when we have been living according to the mythology, like we still find so many mythologies all over the planet. Um, all of the mythologies that exist today on the planet, they are all based, according to this story, on Wijnemeulen mythology, the mythology which still exists here in Finland, and is one mythology that deals with the time or starts before ice time, when all this bowl was tropical, and it tells about the nature, it tells about how the nature come into existence, how the human being appear in this nature, and how <coughs> how we in one breeding system spread out over all this planet, over all this bowl, and start to populate it according to uh, one system. And this whole system, uh, this whole story, uh, is based on the sounds of this root language, this language which holds the key to how this story. So actually it, it is the story of the beginning of mankind, so to say. Yes, it starts with that. And never anything was written down about it? No. And so the only source of information is Eeyore Bok? Uh, today, yes. But it has been spread, of course, since 1984, so we have been creating one main line of this story. And uh, there we, in one short form, start to get, in one logical order, one idea of this, what we call paradise time, when all this planet was still tropical, how we moved to ice time, and how we have continued after ice time up to the present day. All this mythology talks about this time. So before the ice time, this was tropical? Yes. This area where we are now? Where we are now was tropical. Because this area, or wooden Ma, is actually one ring land. The center point is uh, in the mythology called Hell, or it's, to be more specific, it is on seven islands in front of Hell. Uh, Hell is what is today called Helsinki, and in front of there are still today the seven islands, on which of the center island called Uden's Ö is the middle point of Udenma. From there you can go about 125-130 km east, uh, west to one place called Hanko, one peninsula, and from there taking the center point of this Uden's earth, this Uden island, you can make one ring, and that creates uh, Udenma. And that Udenma, as you told me before, that was the country where, where paradise was, where people lived in a certain system and from there, according to that system, spread out over the rest of the world. Yeah, so actually the whole world was paradise, or the whole planet, we should say, was paradise. Uh, paradise time is the tropical time on this planet, so it's the time before the ice time, uh, when this specific point, this island in the center of Udenma, uh, was the North Pole. So we had North Pole and South Pole going in a straight line down, and this ball turning around this pole, traveling around the sun, which made that <coughs> all this ball was tropical. The North Pole had 24-hour light, the South Pole had 24-hour light, but in that time the South Pole was in the water, somewhere in the Pacific, and when you come to the equator you have 12 hours light and 12 hours dark. Oh, and this is because the Earth, which is round, yeah. 
makes a different movement than it does nowadays. Yeah, so in that time the pole was straight, yeah, north pole, south pole, and this ball turning around. But this time this right. ball is turning in this way around its axle. So we get ice time when the earth axle shifted. How is it possible that your book has this information? Uh, How did he hear about it? Was there any books he could read? Or? No. It is an oral tradition which has been kept within this family. So he gets this story from uh, his father and his mother, or through his mother and his sister, his mother's sister. Um, it is a tradition which has been kept in this family after Udenma become destroyed, which happened in 24-7, uh, the year 1050, when Finland became a part of Sweden and a part of the new information system that arrived on the planet. Um, in that way, these people couldn't anymore talk about this time before 1050, which we refer to as the heathen time, because now we are living under a new information system where you was not allowed to talk about the heathen time. So they transferred this knowledge within the family from generation to generation to generation without to ever write it down. But it is based on the principle of the root language, where every sound has a meaning, so when you know these 29 sounds with their meaning, it's not so difficult in that way to keep the story in the brain and keep it originally because you can't change the meaning of the sound. You change the meaning of one sound and the whole story collapses. Mm -hmm. So actually the meaning of this alphabet was the guarantee that the story somehow stayed the same? Yes. And you say in the ice time, um, in the ice time, there was lots of ice here. How did people survive in that time? Uh, when the earth axle of this ball shifts about 30 degrees, um, it was one big catastrophe that was happening, of course, in that time, which makes that enormous amount of water damp come out from the ocean and move in the atmosphere, where they collect at both poles to the rotation of the earth and come down in the form, this water then comes down in the form of ice and cover the north part of this bowl from the Pyrenees, Alps, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, Mongolia, uh, going over to northern Japan, San Francisco, New York, about this line, back to the Pyrenees, how this area become covered with ice. Also the South Pole become covered with ice and the mountains become covered with ice on this planet. But because there is a natural phenomena that originates in the Gulf of Mexico, the hot Gulf Stream coming across the Atlantic, hitting the north coast of France, uh, going through the English Channel between England and Holland into the Gulf of Oslo. From there it rebounds and goes southeast to between where is today Denmark and Sweden and hits the north coast of Germany. And from there it rebounds again and shoots straight northeast into the Finnish Gulf, to that place where today is Leningrad. And there all this hot water traveling from the Gulf of Mexico can't go any further, it becomes locked within this Finnish Gulf and starts to turn around itself, create one roussette of hot water which made that this area, Udenma, remained ice-free. So the people could survive within one hole in the ice. They were surrounded by mountain of ice which stretched to the north part of this bowl to where today is North Pole and the other side and south to the Alps and the Pyrenees. So they become completely locked off from these people who are what we call tropical people who live from the Mediterranean and south in all directions. Wow, so they could continue living here and then they were living according to what you said before, this breathing system. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what that uh, means? Now for that it's more easy when we go, <laughs> go back to, uh, to before ice time. Before ice time we had one system of how we create people, how we populate this boat. And it was based on one breathing system that start here in Wooden Ma. In Uden, Udenma is one ringland where live two castes of people and outside of Udenma live people in the form of, we can say, tribes 
in other green lands that consist of three castes of people. Uh, the highest caste we call Piru Et. Et means family, and Piru is the head of this family. And this pirouette consists of one father and one mother who create twelve sons and seven daughters. The first son becomes Seppo Yulmarinen, he becomes the king, and the first daughter is called Maya, and she is the queen. Both of them represent moon. Uh, the twelfth son, when he becomes twenty-seven years old, he gets the title Lemminkainen. And now he is the one who is making the children. So the seven daughter and the first eleven son, they don't make any children. Only the twelfth son makes children. So now this Lemminkainen, when he becomes 27 years old, he goes together with the most healthy and beauty woman on the planet. And she gets the title Sworn. She becomes the Sworn, or in Finnish language, Jotsen. And now from 27, this Lemminkainen and this Jotsen make again 12 sons and 7 daughters. The first son, Seppo Ilmarinen, the first daughter, Maya, king and queen, who don't make children. And again the 12th son, Lemminkainen, who when he becomes 27 years old, again goes together with the most healthy and beautiful woman on the planet. And from her again come 12 sons and 7 daughters. So in this way, this family perpetuates itself. Now, when this former Lemminkainen retires because his twelfth son becomes 27 years old, the former Lemminkainen becomes Ukko, and the former Jotsen, she becomes Akka. So in this family we talk about Ukko and Akka, which are the father and the mother, the first son and the first daughter, Seppo and Maya, the twelfth son with his sworn, Lemminkainen and Jotsen, and there is two more figures, Sampo and Aino. Sampo masculine, Aino feminine. Frey and Freya in root language, Seppo and Maya in Ban language. Um, now this Lemminkainen is not only making children with Swan, he is also making children with what we call Disa, or Stam Mother, Stam Mother. Now when Lemminkainen is making Disa pregnant, there come out four possibilities. Either it's a boy or it's a girl. If it's a boy and he is good to be father, he is called Rabi. And if he is not good to be father, he is called one Nar. He is in the information system. If it's a girl and she is good to be a mother, she becomes a new Disa, who in the future, again with Lemminkainen, is making Rabi, Nar, Disa. Or when she is not good to be a mother, she becomes Sienere. She becomes in the information system on the female side. Now, this is a second class of people called Ruset. So we have now Pirouet and Ruset, who we call Aser, who live inside Ud and Ma, who speak root language. Now, this Aser, they start to create what we call Baner, people who live outside of Ud and Ma, in the ringlands surrounding Ud and Ma, going over all this bowl, all this planet. And these ringlands consist of three classes of people, Jal et, Kaal et, and Treu et. Now the Rabi is going out from Udenma to one ringland, and now the Rabi is making children with the Jal et woman. And now from Rabi and Jal woman is coming out one boy or one girl, which will be either one Jal man or one Jal woman in the future. Now this Jal man, he is again making children with car woman. And from this Jal man and car woman is coming out either one boy or one girl, one car man or one car woman in the future. And now this car man in his turn is making children with trail woman. And from car man and trail woman is coming out either one trail boy or one trail girl. Now the trail boy, they didn't have right to make children, so they are stopped. So in that way we get five classes of people, Pirouette, Ruset, inside Udenma, and Yalet, Kalet, Trelet, outside Udenma, where every trail man or woman could say that my father is one car, every car man and woman could say my father is one Yal, every Yal man and woman could say my father is one Rabi, and the Rabi he could say that he is the son of Lemminkainen through Disa. So in that way we had one Alfather. We had one man who was father 
to all uh, people on the planet through this swan, who we call in the mythology Matar also. Ma means earth and Tar means uh, the woman. So she is the earth mother. So through the earth mother, we were, and the Uko, the father, we were all people in one system coming from one original sperm. So it was all totally arranged by birth or by judgment of the group, so to say, whether you could be a father or a mother. Yeah, it was the highest thing you could be in the Eden time was for one man to be father and for one woman to be mother. But we had to go through one procedure which is going according to all kinds of nature phenomena uh, which create uh, the situation whether you were really good enough to be father or to be mother. Do you think this breeding system really existed or is it just a story? Uh, like, uh... No, I think it really existed. It is uh, the only... The story talks about such an enormous time span that it is the only realistic way that we still can be in life today. I think otherwise we would have been dying out already a long time ago. Why do you think that? If, if, if say, if people would have gotten children spontaneous, without rules and without the right by birth, do you think it would have been different? Uh, yeah, because this story starts with the beginning, and the beginning is that we are getting um, uh, we are getting one man and one woman on the planet in the creation of the human being, and that from this man and this woman, this Sampo and this Aino, this Frey and Freya, we are getting from them all other people on the planet. Now everybody in that way is born from the sperm of this Frey or this Sampo through this Aino. So if there would go something wrong with that original sperm that existed from where all people are born, uh, they had of course to take care of it. And there is one enormous story explaining that side, that how, in which way they took care of the sperm, how they respected it, so that we had in one natural, logical way the possibility to continue as one race of human beings on the planet. So this whole, whole system of, of um, I always forget the name, this Lemminkainen, 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 yes. Lemminkainen that um, from there lots of children were born and lots of new families or new ring, rings were formed new outside rings. of this Udema. What, uh, what I found fascinating to hear is that your book says, that in all this time, all these people who lived outside of Udenma, that from time to time they would come back here to the big temple of Lemminkainen, of the, the figure Lemminkainen, and bring their valuables and all the aesthetics, as he calls it, to chambers, and that these chambers actually exist today, that they can be found. Yes, uh, after he started with this story in 1984, um, he started to create the foundation to this story, this main line of the story. And from there, if we come to the year 1987, when he had the right to start to open this, uh, what we call, or what is called Lemminkainen Temple. This right according to what the family told him. Yes, it is one temple that is closed in the year 987. And 987, it was said that that Bok who lives after thousand years, he has the right to open this temple. Now that happens to be here. Uh, he can't do nothing for that. He has to go take out this information as it has been transferred within his family. So from 1987 we have been starting to reopen Lemminkainen Temple which was sealed in the year 987. Uh, this temple uh, is one creation from before ice time where the people in these different ring lands that exist around the planet in appreciation for this Alphardr or this system of creating the people on the planet were making the most beautiful 
uh, handicraft or aesthetic where the most beautiful of the objects they created in their specific ringlands were sent up to Udenma in appreciation for this system during the lifetime of one Lemminkainen. Now we get many Lemminkainens in this system and every time when one Lemminkainen becomes Ukko, when he becomes Wijnemeunen, when his twelfth son is taking over his job, um, all these objects uh, become sent from these different ringlands to the next Lemminkainen. They become sent to the castle of Ra and Maya in Rasapuri, which is about 80, 90 kilometers west of Hel, or west of Helsinki. Today you can still see the ruins. And uh, from this castle they bring these objects, when this new period of Lemminkainen starts, to this Lemminkainen temple, where they are creating one chamber for each Lemminkainen, where they are putting in this most beautiful handicraft aesthetic what has been sent up in appreciation for him, and now it becomes put in Lemminkainen Temple. And in front of the door to this chamber, they are putting one life-size statue from this Lemminkainen. And now it continues the second period, and they make another room, and a third room, and a fourth room, and a fifth room. So slowly, slowly, in the time, in the Paradise time, before Einstein, they create this Lemminkainen Temple here in the south of Finland, about 30 kilometers east from Helsinki. And so this temple, according to the saga, was um, cut out of granite inside of Udema. Yeah, it is constructed within the bedrock. We have the phenomena, the natural phenomena in the from the middle to the south part of Finland, um, going over to Estonia, east direction Leningrad, west direction Stockholm, that whole this area is out of massive granite. So here they had the possibility, because there are no earthquakes in this area, no volcanoes, um, there is the physical possibility was existing for them to, within this massive granite, create this Lemminkainen temple. But what material did they have? Is it, how could they do it? I mean, granite, you need <laughs> dynamite or, or something like that. No, you can... It's made by hand. This whole temple is made by hand. But you can crack uh, granite by using fire and water. Uh, there are all kinds of systems of how you can work within the rock, no? So I'm sure that we will find out about how they exactly did it when we are opening this temple. Because it's one subject what we have not really been talking about. So now we are 89 and for two years your rock and the positive foundation consisting of all these people supporting him. Now the time is there that you all expect something big to happen because there's big machines here and you have uncovered part of something which could be an entrance to something. Yeah. Yeah, we got specific information on how this temple was closed. Uh, the whole area has been looking very different here thousand years ago. And there is existing this mountain which with this Atastupa and the sundial rock and the story tells of how we come from this mountain via one roadway down to the entrance of this temple. Uh, this roadway was blocked with stone slices. Uh, we took them up, uh, we started to take them up two years ago in the summer. Uh, we took up the roadway last year. Uh, also already two years ago we come to that point that we are down to the bedrock and we found one big stone slice closing the entrance to the temple. So of course when we blew that one away, we were sure that now we can walk in just like that. But of course there was one other uh, parallel shaped rock plug behind the first one. So we were sure that when we blow that one away we get in. No, still there was more stuff there. So we come to one granite room which has one bedrock roof and one bedrock floor. And this granite room is filled with a kind of grey petrified mess which they have been sealing the basic entrance of this temple with. And now the story tells that from 
when we take out a whole dish, we will come to one staircase that leads down to one round room. And this round room is full of water. They have made one water lock to hermetically seal this temple. So when we pump away the water from this round room, room we will come to three corridors, the middle one of which we can walk up to the cupola of the temple, and the two on the sides which are used for air conditioning. And in that way we can then walk up to one metal door, which is in front of the kupul, to the temple, and from the kupul this temple is constructed cone form, in a form of a cone, down into the earth, into the granite. Wow, with how many more or less rooms? Uh, I don't know, they say that there should be more rooms there for this landing island than there are people in fin Finland existing today. And there are about 5 million people here, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I have one more question, and that is in this whole breathing system, it was very important that sperm from one particular person would get together with the exile of certain women. Do you think there is something um, uh, set in history about this whole thing, or is it actually through the box either for the first time that this information comes out? Uh, that I am not sure about at all. Uh, there are probably existing different stories that when we really know about it, we probably suddenly realize, ah, oh, but here they are basically saying that, and ah, oh, here they are basically saying that, no? Uh, but it's because we don't live with this concept anymore that we don't become reminded about it. So it has been completely uh, evaporated from the brain. It's not existing in our understanding of today. So it is really belonging to one period in the history about we, which we know very, very little. Because the hidden time people were not writing, so we don't really know how these people lived in that time and on what principles and what understanding of nature they created their continuation. Wow, it's beautiful information. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Well, did it change your life to hear about this saga? Yeah, it did in one form because uh, I could never imagine in my life that I'm starting to listen to some mythology of a human being on the planet that lived before Einstein. And uh, on what principles and system this whole thing was based. It was completely based on the nature. They took all their examples from the nature, uh, something what we obviously don't do today anymore, we are not living anymore as part of the nature. Um, yeah, I could never imagine that. I could never imagine that before I start to listen to this animal in mythology. Yeah, it was not existing in my brain either, such an idea. Do you think uh, that people today, they can learn something from this saga? Uh, yeah, I think we can get one understanding about where we come from and uh, who we are. And that's very important, I think. How big do you see the percentage of reality in the saga? How uh, much reality do you think it is? I think it's 100% reality because it is based on the nature and on one sound system that is still existing today on the planet. One language spoken here in Udenma which is based on these 29 sounds from where they created this other language which we call the Ban language or Finnish language which was before Einstein spoken by all people on the planet. Now this Ban language is based on the same sounds as the root language but they are arranged in a different order which make this Ban language to be much larger than this root language. Now under the Einstein they created uh, we came into new, new circumstances on this planet. Um, we get ice, uh, through that we need also to get agriculture, which you didn't really need in the tropical time. Uh, we start to get all kinds of article domestic animals, uh, so we get all kinds of new life form on the planet for which they created one new language 
called the English language, which is a combination of this root and bahn language. Uh, yeah, you can find it out when you get into the subject. So this whole story basically goes in the sounds of these three languages, root, uh, Finnish and English, which still exist today. And when you go with the sound system into this language, you can make an enormous discovery about nature and the human being in the nature. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Well, after the interview with Michelle, my head was spinning. It was not only the information I got from him, but also I had a short talk with Mr. Eobock. Also, I talked with a lot of people who were visiting him. I heard everybody talk about the temple and about this breathing system. And I just decided that I would like to find out what scientists think about this whole thing. I phoned the National Museum in Helsinki and I got time to have an interview with Mr. Thorsten Edgray, director of the archaeological department. You have heard about the Bok saga as it is told by Mr. Jor Bok. What is your opinion about this whole story? Well, uh, as far as I know, there is no reality in it at all. Because uh, uh, we have been told about Mr. Bok's ideas for many, many years, about his excavations uh, east of Helsinki, where he tried to find the so-called Lemmingkainen Temple. But uh, in my opinion, there is no reality in it uh, at all. The fact that this whole thing has started in a kind of paradise, which was located in Helsinki, is there any proof that um, there was a tropical climate at any point here in this area? Well, you can see from um, about 10,000 uh, before present up to about 100,000 years ago, the whole of Finland was covered by a very thick ice, as thick as the inland ice in Greenland for the moment. And it has destroyed every sign of a so to say, tropical climate before that. There hasn't been any people at that moment in, in the whole country at all. So, so we don't have any proof of a tropical climate at all. And, and let's say um, 3,000 years ago, the whole Helsinki area was just under water, starting to rise up from the Baltic. Okay. Um. This lemming kind of is a figure which is known in the Scandinavian country as some mythological figure? Well, perhaps not in the whole Scandinavia. We have this old Finnish folk poem, Kalevala, very well known, collected by Elias Lundgren 150 years ago among uh, people in the eastern part of Finland. It was an old oral tradition. And Lemmingkainen is a very central hero in this poem. And um, so you can say that he is very well known in, in Finland. He has been studied by artists, Siberius, wrote some music which was devoted to, to Lemmingkainen, and so on. So, so he is a very well known person in Finland, but uh, not in Scandinavia, as far as I know, because the Scandinavian. Uh, mythology is uh, of, so to say, Western Europe origin, uh, but uh, the Finnish Kalevala is just something extremely Finnish, typical Finnish, Finnish poem. In the story of Mr. Bok, this Lemminkainen's main responsibility is to make sure that certain women would get pregnant in the right way with the right sperm line as Mr. Bob calls it. Is there anything like that in this mythology also? As far as I know, there isn't anything of such kind. But I must admit, I'm not, not uh, specialized in, in this Kalevala. I have heard about Kalevala, as I think most people in Finland already from the school. We have had uh, uh, been told of Lemminkainen and Weinemarin uh, and, 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 and 
many other heroes from the Karamala, but I haven't heard anything about uh, that kind of, uh, that way to be pregnant, so to say. The expectation of Mr. Bok is that there on Gumbo Strand, there is the entrance to this enormous temple, which, according to him, got dug out in the granite. And he's speaking about a system of uh, storage rooms in the order of five million different rooms. Would there be any possibility, say, before Ice Age, that people went in there, made holes in the granite, and stashed their valuables there? No, no. It's just pure Finnish solid granite. And I must say, already the figure about five million, you said, five million yes, rooms, that's, that's uh, nonsense. Yeah. Nonsense, pure nonsense. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Just a minute now. My baby brothers made that up. Baby. Mm. So we are standing here in front of Erte Stupa. Mm. with Bibi. Mm -hmm. Bibi is a neighbor, she lives in the surrounding here. And I want to ask her a couple of questions. So what do you think of this whole story, this book saga? Oh, past these three years, you know, I've been thinking this and that, and that's a big question. Is there anything, or is it just damage, nature, damage? What I, at this moment, I, I think it's just damage. The, the temple should be looked for inside you. It's not here. That's my... Mm. So you think it's all nonsense and it's just a... Well, it's not nonsense. It's uh, searching for our roots and then the better living. Search for truth. Do you give it any chance that there is something physical, like part of a temple or some kind of remnants of that old time? I couldn't say. You I don't? couldn't really say. No, it's, uh, it's a lot of personal feelings too, because it's my uh, neighborhood, my neighbors, and uh, you know, it, it touched me. According to this book saga, the the origin of all people were one twin brother and sister mm. and they were Finnish. No. How would you feel about that? If no, <laughs> no, my mind tells me it's, it's, uh, it, it can't be, it can't be. And this hidden mythology where the Bog Saga talks about, did you hear that in any other way ever in school or in another form? Oh sure, you've heard the um, sagas and, and from different mythologies and different uh, national uh, stories, saga. We have a national saga, you could call it. It's some, the names are from there and some happenings and, you know, I think it's the saga, saga is, is brought from all over the world into this book saga. This is, this is what I think. <laughs> so what are you going to say? If they indeed find something, will you be happy? Or? Well, I'll say, wow! <laughs> okay, <laughs> me too. I'm going to say, wow. <laughs> sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's, it's been the question all the time, you know, the past three years following this. Mm. I, I think nobody had expected that this would be going down like this, huh? Eh? Wow! Well, when you think of it, when it started, uh, a group of guys, I think there were three, I went for my evening walk, come, coming down the, the road here, from my house up there, and they come, came with the small buckets and showers and told me this, this story again, you know? <laughs> you could, like, could. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed, just looked at them and we became friends, you know, 
people changed and some of them been the same probably the time that oh you know <laughs> then came the machines and yeah. so they I don't know just thinking they, they began with with uh, showers and buckets and now it's it's this big ten meters down and Set your book. I haven't said this to you before, but I really want to tell you how impressed I am with your patience to over and over tell this story to people who are curious and want to know and no matter what you're doing, you always immediately jump up and again, you tell the story. So, how did you get all this information? It's one tradition in the family that we who has titles in our family, we get 20 years education. That means that we are only listening. We listen, we learn all these things. I've been getting this from my mother and my sister, my mother Rea Rockström and my sister Raquel Bockström. They in their turn get it from my father Knut Victor Bockström and my father's sister Christina Victoria Bockström. In that way they had to listen 20 years, my father and his sister, and they transferred it for 20 years to my mother and my sister and my mother and my sister transferred it to me. From 1949, when I become seven years, I had to sit here in this room to listen and listen and listen. The whole mythology with their different figures who made the history of this story. And that is the so-called Weinemönen mythology. The Weinemönen mythology, what is the whole thing based on. Now, this temple, they have been telling you exactly where this temple was, this Lemminkainen temple, and also that it was closed at some point, and what you could expect to find. So, can you give the idea what you expect? What was the story? To listen to this mythology, it gives one thing into the brain, one understanding. And understanding is about the old breeding system, what has been existing on this planet. And when you understand that, you understand that we had one Alm Father, one Father to all people on the planet. In this, what we've been explaining, Pirouette, Rouset, Inside in Udenma, and Jar Et, Kar Et. It outside of Udenma. Like five different five different castes. Cast. And from that these five different castes or actually the three different castes from the outside they have actually created this temple here in Udenma? Yes. Because Ukko, what is the main figure and Akka Ukko masculine and Akka feminine. From this Ukko Akka we can understand that Ukko Akka is the father and mother to the king and the queen. And people was bringing up gifts, aesthetic, to appreciate Ukko and Akka through the king and the queen. So the king and queen's castle become, we can really say, full of aesthetic, bring it up by the rabbis who was going all to their particular ringlands and the rabbi was also an al-father in his ringland because the rabbi was the father of the Yar Et and Yar Et is the father to the Kar Et and Kar Et is the father to the Trail Et. So actually for every generation of Ukko they've been giving the appreciating thing aesthetic from the system. So they bring up this thing to the castle and every time when Ukko go away from the planet 
can be made in one chamber inside in the Kuiperi Wari to put in all this thing. And when he go away, he can for the last time see one chamber of all this thing was bring up in his bare yurt for because he was the breeder, lemming can when he was young. So you say Ukko Aka is like say Adam and Eve. No. 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 <laughs> no. No, no, no. Ukko Aka, Lemming can Yotsen, Seppo Ilmarinen Maya and Sampo alive. Every man was Sampo. Every man wanted to reach Sampo, all the ideals, all the good, what insist inside in the man. Aino was the same, the woman, she was Aino, so she wanted to reach to be one good woman, one Aino. That means that every woman is one Aino, and every man is one Sampo. So Sampo and Aino is the people of the planet, the masculine and the feminine. Now, in the system to appreciate, they bring up this thing, and when Ukko is leaving, Ukko is anyway the father of all in the system, he could look back for his life to see the chamber full of all this thing, what was one appreciating of the system, of the breeding system. And he could see one statue from himself, 27 years old, when he was starting as a breeder, that's outside of every chamber and that he could see by himself before he went to his Ette Stupa and he Stupa down, he fall down, he leaving the planet. After the bringing up from the temple, through all this spiral, and the bringing out to the middle point of Kuperivori, where they have the burning place. And there thousands of people could see the smoke coming up from the Rukko. After they take all the ash together and they put it in what we call one ux pum, one ux pum, and they filled this ash inside in the pum, who was bring to tuna, and tuna we have tuna kullen, it means one kulle, and there is standing one ash tree. Now the filia, what we call soul today, is going from the ash to the root of the ash tree to the stem of the ash tree, to the branch of the ash tree, into the leaf. And now in form of sap, saab, mahla, we call it mahla in warm language, saab in ars language, and sap in English. In form of sap, when the sun stroll are the rays from the sun from Odin, is coming on the leaf, the sun is taking out Akka or Ukko from the leaf, so Akka is leaving the leaf for the hole in the North Pole. And from the North Pole, it went out from the hole E, and the E, hole E, is the brick of Lemminkainen, who is making this pirouette, rosette, yarn, and car trail. And in that way, the show went around and around. So this Lemminkainen, when he was older, he was called Ukko. Yeah. And he was actually the father of all because he was the only one who was allowed to make the women pregnant. Yeah. So in the system we can understand in the S per Ma. He is per, S is the son, and Ma is like Uden Ma. The Uden Ma is there now. So in the sound we have S, per, ma, sperma. And from sperma we all come. So Leningen, he is young. He become Leningen first when he is 27. And now he takes the most beauty and most healthy woman on the planet. And he is making children with her. So from her sperm, from his sperm, is coming seven daughters and twelve boys. The first daughter who reached the age of 27, she become automatically Maya, is in the sperm system. And the first boy who reached the age of 27, he become automatically Seppo Ilmarinen, the king, and Maya, the queen. They have no children at all. But the twelfth one is the breeder in the family, so when he become 27, he take one swan, one yotse, 
and she is getting seven daughters, twelve boys, and again the twelfth one become one new lemming canyon. And when one new lemming canyon come, the old lemming canyon become Pukko, and the old swan, the Yotsen, become Akka. So Akka is the Ma Tar, the Ma mother, and Akukko is the Ma father. He is the father to all these people who live in the paradise time. What is paradise time? Paradise time is one time 50 million, 10,005 years ago, according to our way of counting, this ball has had one other position. So we had tropical and it was full of ring lands. So we had one ring in the top and six around and all of these ring lands, who was of course on the land, they had one Ra B, one son of one Disa. Lemming and making children with the Disa, so it's coming out men and women from the Disa. And the men who were suitable to be fathers, they become Ra B. And Ra B is going out to his ring land and making children with the Yarl woman coming out Yarl men. The Yarl men making children with the Kar woman coming out Kar men and the Kar men making children with the Trail woman coming out Trail men. But the Trail men was not allowed to make children and that made the whole line that we had one father, one owl father because he, he was father to Allah. Allah means Mukko. So Allah means actually the Al Father. Allah. Wow. In the storm system. How did that go with the very first family? The first family, we had the combination of the monkey and the nanny goat. The Apa. Apa in our root language is A P A what consists of A, A, S, P, P, L, and A, A, P. So we can see what is inside in the sound to make the A, P, A, A, P. The goat is one yet, yet, and now this A, P, is making children with the yet, and out come Sam, P, and I, N, U, in one language, and in our language we can call it Frey and Freya. Frey was the first who had sperma, and we all come from Frey's sperma. But, <coughs> excuse me, but would you say that if today a monkey would fuck with a goat, we get again a twin brother and sister human? No. We have something called one Uden thing. And this Uden thing has been happening. We start our story with one all, one all we call it, it's like one snake, one all is in English language, eel. one eel, mm -hmm. and from one eel come one eel come one eel, but it happened one wooden thing, so from one eel come one frog, and frog come frog come frog, and from the frog come the monkey. The monkey and frog is swimming in the same way. That's the only thing we can actually prove it with, that we are swimming like the monkey, we are swimming like the frog, BB. From monkey come monkey come monkey, and monkey making one child with one nanny goat, and calling Freya and Freya, who swim like the frog, the monkey. So that was only one time it happened that way. Yeah. Then we had Freya and Freya. Yeah the original man and woman, and then this breeding system started. Then the breeding system start, and Frey make with his Freya, the only woman existing, seven daughters and twelve boys. Maybe more, but in the system we must understand seven and twelve. Or less? Is that possible? They make less children? Uh, not, I don't think they make less, because anyway was the meaning for us to be more and more and more. But it's a logic behind the whole sperm system where you can see how we grow up to be first a pirouette after the creating the ruse at the second cast inside the wooden mark. We the Disa, who get the child from Lemming and sperm and come the Rabi, 
who go out to his ringland and making yarnet, carnet, thread. But how did these first people know to be so careful with creating other humans? Because that's what they actually were. It's more like an animal world where they say, where you see all oh, the very young and healthy, they get together and they make new animals. <coughs> and how, how did they know to restrict themselves, so to say, and to say, well, that person can have children and the other not? I think the animal is choosing by intuition. They, or they also maybe go in one fate, one karma, that they need each other and they make children. I feel also the people has been having very strong something what we don't understand today, or maybe it's in the sperm that this first sperm was anyway understanding to make it with his first swan, so the whole system could roll up. And so you say these Freya and Freya, they knew it from instinct or from yeah, understanding? from instinct, or? understanding. And then later on, there was created in your mythology a whole information system so that all people knew how it was going. Yeah, it's become one information system who was completely natural with honest, based on honest, that I tell you you tell her and she tell somebody else but according to honest it was very honest system before when we had no other thing than our own honest to base it on before we get the written thing we was all transferring thing to each other of course in an honest way now the scientists say that it is impossible to keep a story alive according to the real uh, actual happenings over, I don't know what they call it, thousand years or something like that. How is it possible for you to get all this family through your family lines of such an more enormous time and still that there is some reality in it? How, how is that to remember? How, how can that be? I don't know how it could be because I only listening and listening and I couldn't actually understand it. But now I can understand it because when after 1984 I become free to divide this thing also with other people. We have one example, Michel Merle, very good friend to me, who also started to listen and listening. And today he can present the same based on the same sound as me. He can do it exactly in the same way. So he has been doing it in only three, four, five years. But well, from 1984 we started, so he can today, without that I am even in the room, I can trust him. I can trust that he is explaining it in exactly the same way as he been hearing it from me and understanding it from me. And this is all because the whole story, together with the whole story, you explain a system which is based on the alphabet and which keeps the story in some frame of reality. Yes. The alphabet is maybe for an outsider listener beginning, it must sound very funny. But when you start to get deep in, in the sound system, you start to slowly, slowly understand that we have one meaning in the root language the language of still living in the archipelago here, people who has one other alphabet, we have example nine clear, clear sound. If you take the sound A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Ho, E, Y, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. We start from A and end with V actually, and X, U, C, T, O, R, U. That sounds, of course, crazy. <laughs> of course, I can understand it. But when you go through it, and every sound has, you can divide it in nine clear sound A, E, I, U, 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 O, R, U. And the other is combination with E what is the oak tree we all belong to, the big oak tree. The tree is actually symbolic, but we are belong to a sound. 
Now from there we have R is clear, B is B and E, C is C and E, D is D and E, F is E and F, G is G and E, HO with O, HO and O, E is the clear sound, Y is Y and E, Y HO, HO, E, Y, KO, KO is KO and O, L is E and L, M is E and M, N is E and N, U is wooden, P is P and E, Q is KO and U, R is A and R, R, S, S, there is a S, the only we have S sound, E and S, S, T, T and E, U is U, it's clear, and V and E, V, X, Y, Z, O, A, Ö is outside of the ring. So we start with E actually in the top, what is the W, and we get E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, E, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, E, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Now every sound has one fixed meaning. Every sound. Every sound. Ah. Ah. So we have ah, arser, and arser is the people who live inside the wooden ma. They are all arser, and their their head is ukko, what is also ah sound. So ah is very heavy, very strong. It's actually the original group of people on this earth. Yeah. The la their land. Their land. Uh -huh. So ah give an association of arser. B is bori, bu er g. Bu, and again it's U and B, Uden's body. Bu, R is Ra, and G means giving. Body. A, A, S, B, body. C, C, share Ra. Ra is Ra, and you share the Ra, become share Ra. A, A, S, B, body. C, share. D, D, dog. E, E. That's the oak tree we all belong to. What is all this combination in this sound system with the E? So E is very high, like A, E, and E, and O, and U, e, and U. E. All this clear sound is all more high. So A, A, S, R, B, B, R, C, S, R, D, D, G, E, K, F, F, R, and from F, you can put one F in the ground and come the stroller from the F. And come up one straw, and you take one share ra, and you share the straw, and you can make one straw box. What is the symbol here of learning canon? A a ser b boy c share d dog e e f r g grund g is grund, but g means also giving. I g you, and you g me. So g means giving. A A S R B B O R I S I S H A R A D I D A G I I K F R U G I G R U N D H O H E L H O H E L is the middle point of Uden Ma and from H E L all the sperm went out all over the planet. H E L is also our home. A A S R B B O R I S I S H A R A D I D A G I I I K F R U G I G R U N D H O H E L I Now from I come the sperm and Ukko has the I and Lemmingen has the I but actually all men has one E, and from E come the spur. A, A, S, R, B, B, R, I, C, S, R, A, D, D, A, G, E, E, K, F, R, G, G, R, U, N, H, O, H, E, L, I, I, J, J, Jarnar, and J has also to do with J, V, A, giving. So J is also one giving sound, J, J, J. A, A, S, R, B, B, R, I, C, S, R, A, D, D, A, G, E, E, K, F, R, G, G, R, U, N, H, O, H, E, L, I, I, J jarlar, J jarlar, K karlar. It's outside car. That's the outside jarl et kar et. So we have J and K, and L is the log, the law, the logic. So L, when you see the L in the combination, it has to do with the law and the logic. The nature law is the logic. 
a asher be borisi shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar e lag em mone em mone en mone is the moon en sef bo maya the king and queen is representing the moon a asher be borisi shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar e lag em mone en nord shera nan the North Star, and the North Star is also in the sperm, and the North Star is the Pole Star, who is in the top of the pole, is the Pole Star. So, A, A, S, R, B, B, R, S, S, R, D, D, A, G, E, K, F, R, G, G, R, N, H, O, H, E, L, I, 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 J, A, R, L, A, R, K, O, K, A, R, L, A, R, L, L, A, G, M, M, O, N, E, N, N, U, R, T, S, R, N, A, N, U, U, D, E, N, and that's, of course, the Sun, but the sun is the sun. This is the S is the sun, but U is Uden. So Uden is actually one different thing. Uden is the sun. But there is two, there is S and U who is representing the sun. Uden. A Asher be Borsi Shara de Dagi ke Frege Grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar el lag em mone en ut shernan u Uden P polen. From the North Pole and South Pole, and from the Pole come also the sperma. Sperma come from the Pole because the 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 people who the people the people there are many people on the planet, and they come from the Pole. Of the P, the P is the circle. So you can see the mathematics. The circle is the P, and that's Uden and P Pole. Many people on the planet. Many per son son of per. Because pair was anyway the highest pair, Santa pair, Santa pair with nuclear with the key. A asher be boris in shara di dag i ike frugi grund, ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar el lag em mone en u tjernan u uden pe polen q kvadrat. No q means one ring with one pole in the middle who make the shadow. So you can see the mark Q, and it has to do with mathematic, with the quinna, because the original every woman has been one quinna. Today is only the queen, the wife of the king in England, but you call her wo men in England, but the original is quinna. A asher be borsi shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar e lag em mone en nord kjernan u uden pe polen q kvadrat er ra. And ra is in the king's sperm. And from the king's sperm it go out in van divan system, but ra was very high because ra is van part of es per ma. A asher be boris i shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar el lage mone en ut kjernan u uden pe polen ku kvadrat er ra es solen. En so is len, so len is the sun in root language. A asher be boris i shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar el lage mone en ut Kjernan u den pe polen ku kvadrat er ra es solen te tur. En tur, vi hadde en tur system. Tu vomen tur, en tu men tur. Vi har tors hammar, every man has tors hammar. What is the most sensitive place on the man? And the woman has klitor i s, u bekom o, that's called klitoris. So we can see clitoris come from the old sensitive, the, old is, the most sensitive place on the woman is clitoris, and the most sensitive on the man is the tors, hammers, head. A asher be borisi shera di dag i ike frugi grund ho hel i i i jarlar ko karlar el lage mone en ut kjernan u uden pe polen ku kvadrat er ra es solen te tur u ursprung. That's ursprung, ursprung like van fontein. Ursprung is the original. A asher be borg se shera de dag e ek f 
frö, g grund, h hell, i i, j jarlar, k karlar, l lag, m måle, n nord kär nan, o oden, p polen, q kvadrat, r ra, s solen, t tor, u ursprung, v vaner. And Varner is the people who live outside of Udenma, so Aaser is the people inside in the Ringland, Udenma, and V Varner is the people outside in the Ringlands, outside of Udenma. So we start with A and end with Varner. Outside is X, means the oak trees, X, X. Y is the Yggdrasil, the all living tree. Yggdrasil, very well known in other mythology, the tree Yggdrasil, what is the ash tree? X, Y, C, Ta, is the flash between two people, C, Ta. O, Ä, Ö, is three clear sound, what has different combination. Now, now, this tells you one story. And if you're really listening now, you can get the story about E, we start with E, what is the W, E, and W is also like one T, one prick in the middle, and two bockhorn on the both side, the tresol, the sol treadet, the tresol, the tre is the tree, one, three, two, three, four, three, and sol is the sun, so tresol is one high symbol, what is for ukko, for Lemminkainen, for Zeus, for Jupiter, etc., etc. We can see the tresol, the trident, I think you call it in English. But E, Asernas Borg, C, Dagen, Ekens, Frös, Grund, Held, I, Jarlarnas, Karlarnas, Lag, Månen, Nordkärnan, Oden, Polen, Kvadraten, Ras, Sol, Tor, Ursprungets vaner, I, and this tells one story, and when you understand this story, you understand how this story is based on this funny sound. Now it was, it's amazing because the last time when you said it, I heard that it was a story. But this is because I speak Swedish, which is like yeah, very close yeah, to Yeah, because Swedish come from Udenma, it's come over to Sweden, the root language in one little bit different singing form, and it's go to Norway, and outside of Norway we have the big island called England, where also blue and green iced Arctical people are. So the English also is going out in the history from Udenma to the west and ended up in England. And from England they spread it all over the planet so we can all communicate, you and me, with English. If we learn the original meaning of the alphabet. No, no, without alphabet we can all speak English. Oh, speak but it's English. anyway based on the root and oh. this root sounds. This Freya Freya, you say they're also the old father and old mother of... Uh, of the say, human being. Let's say the people in Africa. Yeah. Because they look very much different than the we do. Yeah. That has one story in the mythology that when this pole changed, we get the ice time and the north part become covered by ice. And now there was ten Ra B who become like kings. So we get ten king system where the first son become the king when the king died, different than in Udenma, and the all other sons become dukes. Now, now we have duke in England, one area with one duke, and he is making the old woman pregnant, and it goes down in the exactly same way. But how, I mean, from the color, I mean, from the color, if you think, how can then be the, the people in Africa, they have a black skin, how can they come from 
from a fray and fray are, which looked a little bit like like you and me, maybe or more like you. Now, if you look the outlook of we people on the planet, we have the arctical people with the blue and green eyes, and we have the tropical people with the brown and black eyes. They are all ten different tropical, and when you look at those people, we have ten different outlook. You can see the Peking people in China. They look really different than the children of Narkasul, what is in Hindustan, and the children of uh, Zeus and Jupiter. We can divide them and see that in the Mediterranean we have a little bit different outlook of people. We see the neck rose people in Africa. The neck rose people must have had one other father who created this thing. And we go over to the Red Indian in today America and we see that they also look different. So we have actually 11 different outlooks of people from the nature. 10 outside tropical and from actually one arctical coming Sven and Dan, Sven Skarar and Dan Skarar, the Karar of Sven and Karar of Dan, who created Uppsala with one breeding Suscenter and Jülland, Jülland, the Danish. And from Denmark we get out to this Europe, what we call it today, and we get England with two roses, the red rose and the white rose, and both of these roses had feel that they were kings, and from there we get the bucket of roses. That's amazing. Well, I have to look quite at this. It's fascinating. <coughs> it's great. Now you're on this level, and they took out this stuff, what they call stoned mass, which is not so hard as granite. They started two years ago. And then they dug like about 10 meters. I'll go and stand there and show you what was the level of... Uh, You spat to find anything? You spat. You spat. <laughs> Golden, Golden church. Yes, <laughs> with Lemminkainen. Yeah. <clears throat> the Akkada is there. How much you know about the saga? I know quite much, but my English is not. Yeah, it's great. So it's great. Mm. It's great. Do you understand the alphabet? Yes. Yes, um. <laughs> I'm sure there's something. There's something with the world. This temple, where now the digging is happening for, you found it because there was this this big rock called Erdestupa, which was talked about in the mythology as the place where the old woman, the Akka, um, died. And so 
what what is the story? What do you expect to find? What kind of temple? How does it look like? In, I mean, there's now this road going down, and then there's like all this rock, and then what? The tem- temple has one cupool, cupool, and from this cupool they started to make these chambers. It means that the first chamber, the second, the third, is starting to go in one spiral down in the bedrock. And the bottom of this place is always round. So for every chamber they make the spiral to go down more deep and deep who make that the floor always is one big ring who become deeper, deeper, deeper down in the ground. So there is like in the in the rock itself, in the granite solid rock, yep. there is a round roof, so to say. Yeah, one round roof what is also the air condition because from this round roof or the cupool go three channels down to one round room and this round room you can fill up with water and when you fill up this round room with water the three channels who lead to the cupool become closed and that we call water lock so they had to take out the water and they get these three channels who opened by itself and the middle channel, the middle gong, is called corridor and that means that there must be rooms on both sides otherwise in our language is only one gong so if you have one gong, it's one gong but if it has doors on all side, both sides become one corridor and the middle one is one corridor and the two other one is for the air condition so when they blew in the wind in through the the opening of the temple where we are just now in our digging in the air will go to the round room where the air is in the round room turning up like in one and a half channels to the cupool and down from the cupool the air go out in one and a half way down to the round room and out it's the same like the nose with your mouth it's also three holes in the human being and in the same way this temple is constructed. And then next to this, this, this round room there is the storage places which every generation made for their old mother and old father. That is in the spiral who go down from the cupool but the corridor has rooms on both sides what is used for different ceremonies. Aha. And this amount of storage rooms I've heard it before, but can you say it again? The amount of storage rooms which you expect to find? I can't say how many there are. I know there are thousands and thousands, but if we have only one, and that means that the ice time was 50 million years, and the paradis time was more than this. Ice time. So it means that more than 50 million, we can say 100 million years of the time of the history of the planet was belonged to the Paradis time. And Pa is Asana's Pole, Ra is Asana's Ra, Para, Di, Dis, we have Disor, so Paradis Et, Paradis Et. It say itself in sound that it's one time in the history of this planet. And we call it paradise in England, in English, and we call paratisi, paratisi in Van language. So when we compare the Van language, the Ars language, and the English, we can find out that it must be because it's all three languages have the paradise, paratisi, and paradise et. So you, the, the story goes that it has all the information up to the paradise time, to the time before the ice time. The time before ice time, for every generation of our father, they had been making one chamber 
what is full of these gifts giving up to appreciating the system of Esperma Sperma. If this story, what you have been telling, if this story is true, it will be a complete revolution. A complete understanding, I think. Understanding that we had different periods in the history of the planet. And these periods will be coming up to the light when we get into this temple. Now imagine that this, what you say, is all true. Say that the temple is found and you see, you can actually really see with your own eyes that there's this remnants of old times there. What do you expect that people will say about that? How do you think people will react? Of course people will be surprised, but it will be making one situation that they all want to know what is based on, and that means that maybe many brains want to take the alphabet to understand what they've been seeing in the TV. The plan is that this temple will not be one tourist attraction, we are not selling tickets to the temple. We have a plan that one photograph can take one chamber, and this photograph can by photo take out this to the planet. That one fo photograph he can concentrate on one chamber and taking out the beauty. We take one thing, when you take it by photo, you can see it from different angles, you can see the handicraft in a different way, especially when it's become explained for the people who look the object. And in that way one thing can give more then you look at thousand things by yourself. Now every photograph can get one chamber and he can present it, individual photograph by themselves, and in that way we can see the inside of the temple in the future in our television system on the planet. Do you think it will be beneficial for people to find out these things? What is beneficial? Goods? Of course Helpful. it's good, of course it's good. It helps one understanding, because from the past we can build one future. From the past we can build up one future, one future of understanding. Wow. I'm very, very happy with the information you have been I hope you don't have to wait too long in this cold weather to see that it's all there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your interest to spread this thing in your way, with my words, who is my parents' word. ...of listening to Eol Bok, to Michel Merle, to all the people visiting there on Kumbo Strand. It's all a possibility. And my conclusion is, if you really want to find out more, you have to get a little bit into linguistics. Therefore, at the end of this compilation of a visit to Eeyore Bok, one more time. Mr. Your Book and his alphabet. One more time. Would you just say the alphabet so that maybe I get the story? Say one time the alphabet. Yes. Like, you know, you did it already yesterday. <laughs> the story in the, the story in the alphabet, yeah. Ah. E. E means actually inside. Yeah. So E. Asernas boy. In the castle of Aser. C. Dagen. You see the day. Ekens Frös Grund. And the ground of the seeds of the oak tree. Help. Help.
Hall. Okay. Die Jarlarnas, Karlarnas, Lag. Lag in the law of the Jarls and the Karls. Morning. The moon. Or the mouth. Mouth moon. Morning. Nord Sher Nan. The North Star. Uden. The Uden, Uden, Uden. Ring. It's a ring. It's the everything. It's the sun. The sun. Yeah. Uden is the sun. Uh, is one ring, and the moon is ring one time a month. So it's full moon, and the sun is always one ring. So it goes up and down. It's never changed. It's always same. And the moon was being marked to the date of the planet because it's still different changing. So he asked us boy, see the dog in Ekins Rus Grund held E Yarlarnas Karlarnas Lag Morning Nutshanan Uden Polen Quadratin Mathematic the woman the ring with it. Paul in the middle making one shadow cutting the mark of the cube cleaner, the woman was cleaner with the cube. With cleaner. It was something else than woman we use today in the language. So they can catch that. There has been a masipashur before. <laughs> we are saying in Hindustan where they had Laxman and Saraswati. And one time they took away Saraswati and become a new figure called Laxmi. So they must have been having one change there because they wanted to have this Lax. You can see it. It's very funny this Laxmi coming in India. To change the, the, the Change the figure, the ideal, you could change it to a new woman, to a new being. Yeah. Okay, he, 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 Asana Spori, she, dog, he, Kins, Fris, Grund, Hell, he, Jarlarnas, Karlarnas, Lab. Morning, Nordschernan, Uden, Polen, Quadrat. And now come you, Rasu Tur. Rasu Tur. Rasu Tur. Ras Sun or Moon later. Rasu to Sun to friend or heart. There is this combination. Rasu to Rasu to There is a little killer. Rasu to Ursprung is one or E. The origin of the Vanas of our friends living around. And E. The prick again. Ursprung is Vader E. That means that the Vahn people come from the E. We tell them in the end that actually you all come from the E. Especially they say the Vahn come from the E. And the E meaning the prick of the bok, of the lemon cannon, of that special person in the breathing system. In the paradise style, we have this E or this lemon pattern, so he is the breathing, the E, D, the D, Sa, the D, Sa figure, so it's called D, Sa, it's distorted A, it's 
Shepherd Moment in the day by D. Shadwell Rock in the Shushmans. So you have D. Shah, because Shah means you get, and D is D. So D. Shah in the day. So it's from the ceremony you want to have. Mm. You all could understand, in a way, to, in this, to understand what D. Shah means. Now, D. Shah, in D. Shah. But for the drinking of the sperm for the woman who wanted to get pregnant, it was not important that it was the same sperm as the one who would make her pregnant later on. Oh yes. Only here in Udenmar was different. Only here with Leningen, and because Leningen had to make so many children so they should have been drinking in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So that means that one rabbi from all of his Vinland get the honor to go in the temple with Leningrad and in the divan and after he can come out and give third today to Vadrisha. So the rabbi he changes or he drinks the sperm of Leningrad? He changes it with Leningrad in the temple. And, and the then he's like blessed to be the father of, of child. Yeah, in that way, he gave 30 days, and after she been drinking 30 days, she goes to Freysha on the Meridian line, and there he got the shot. Mm-hmm. So there he... he On a certain time? Yeah, they had this 30 days period. I, I, there is this 30 days, mm-hmm. and I've seen all this number of the hair. One month. Yeah, one month. One, 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 one more night, one calendar more night. It is calendar. Is Almanakar Kalenda? Ra Sun Tu. Yeah, <laughs> Ra Sun Tu. Who's to his father? E. <coughs> so we take it. <coughs> e. Asana's body. In the castle of Asana. C. Dagen. You see the day. Ekens Frisch Grund. The ground of the seat of the oak tree. Held. Helsinki, the home. E. The prick of the lemon kind. Jarlarnas, Karlarnas, Lak. According to the law of the Jarls and the Karls. Jarlarnas, Karlarnas, Lak. Monen. Is the moon. Monen. 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 That's the moon. And mouth. And mouth. And moon has two sides, one dark and one in light. And Shepumaya is both representing the moon. So the king and queen is representing the moon. So they are giving out the mark to the planet how we are doing according to the moon. That's the moon. Iyasana's body, see a dog, and he can spruce crude hell. Iyarlarna's karlarna's lap, morning. After we go to Nurt, Nurt, Sher, Sher, Nan. Nurt, Sher, Nan. Nurt. Star, pole, star. Because we have the pole with the ball, and on this pole, also from the pole of the sperm, from the ball of the sperm to the ball. And it's from this pole, this is the pyramid, also the other star is the other. And so the north star is the star? Just straight. Just straight. Oh, so you always could see that under this star is Baha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, so that they would not get it. Yeah, yeah, you could see it. The Lord Star, you know, is just over the pole and just in the hole of the pole. Is what? The old pole. Yeah, the old North Pole. Yeah. Okay, it was before the pole, when the pole was straight. Yeah. Now it's here. Yeah. So it's just been shifting. But anyway, it's there. So he, Asana's boy, Vasana's body is also the seven islands because Helsingenes 
has seven hills around with seven temples. And outside of Helsinki is seven islands with the middle islands, Udensby with Lishnar Barrier, Kuntenvori. And there is the middle point, the hole in the pole. Because your finger goes from the ash to the root, to the stem, to the branch, to the leaf, and Firgia leave in form of Mahla, Akka, through the air to the hole in the North Pole, and from this North Pole it go out from the hole E, from the key of Lemmingtang, who made children with a Disa coming out Ravi, who made children with a Jarl woman coming out Jarl boys and girls. The young boys is making children with a car woman coming out small car boys and girls. And the car men is making children with a trail woman, so coming out trail boys and girls. And now when the last of these cars doesn't make children, it's become no name. We had only one shield with the mark of the spur when they went out for breathing. But now in this way, they had one Alpha, the Ukko, in the top of the planet, enlightened, because Sun and Uden by the top had one effect. So you see him still in Chinese drawings and carvings. You can see Ukko on the top of this hill, still around the planet. If you look for him, you find him, because we know that we had only one Ukko. So when you make one face of one respected old man, you can call him Saint Nicholas, you can call him Baba Natal, you can call him Bernier, you can call him Father Chris, you can call him Diet Maros, the Moscow people say Diet Maros. And in Rome they talk about Baba Natal, and Baba is father also in Hindi, they talk Baba or Baba. And Abba in Israel. Yeah. So there are all these men and women fight in our country because P, P means one circle. That you remember now. P is one circle. So P is also order because it's the circle order. P. Now, now the v- wood is Pu. P U. Now it's P is pole and U is U. So Pu is wood and pole. Like that. But poo is also for normal one people here in Finland, we talk about poo floor. And now from this poo material you make one P and then you get one P poo. One P poo. The P means the ring and the poo is the poo and you make one shaft. And when it's for masculine, the hole is in the bottom of the people and it's go round like one camera. So you smoke it, but when it's for for the feminine, they have a long shaft when the shaft comes from the side of the pipe. And that we call tupa akka pi po. Now tupa is the room for the woman, akka is the highest woman on the planet, tupa akka P is the circle, and Pu is the material. So Tupa, Akka, P, Pu is Tupa, Akka, P, Pu. Then we have the other one who is called Ukko, P, Pu, and that is Ukko. And that's one man with one face that you put inside something to smoke. That we have always because it's in the sound, so we must have been smoking in the paradise type. Because when this kind of sound is in our language, I understand that smoking in pipe is a very old thing. This I want to tell to these people in Holland, because they've been appreciating to smoke. And I know that it's good for the brain. Um, <laughs> 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 Fire. Fire. Fire.
alphabet. The end of the alphabet goes then V, E, A, Vaya, back to the A. Ah, yeah. mm. ah. the E is the tresor. From the E, there is the tresor, the sur, treaded. Sur Almost is like the sun. Sur is the sun, sur is wooden, and sur is your mouth, and when your mouth lay, you sur lay, and all children always make one ring with one smiling. Sur is the mouth in one language, and lay is the smile in root language. So sur lay, in one they call it our ring ku, means the sun su and au rin ku and ku is the moon and au rin ku in the language of Finnish people means au rin ku is the sun and ku is the moon. Now we have mone and su leen and su leen means with this smiling mouth. So now this is the tresor <coughs> with this tresor. It's one ku in the middle and two bokhon on the other side. And that's the E, it's the breeder. So it's actually, but also Ukko has it. And Weinemann has the soul. Zeus has the soul. Jupiter has the soul. Shiva has the soul. You can see a little bit who had this soul on pictures we still have everywhere, but it's one symbol of breeding anyway. You know? Or life. Um, I was thinking about the story of Adam and Eve because I'm raised with the other story of the origin of the world. Also, paradise was the same. There was paradise, there was enough tropical fruits, and the animals were happy, and the women got children without pain, and so there was Adam and Eve, the first man and the first woman. And then Eve, she ate an apple, she listened to the snake and paradise was gone. And so I was thinking this morning and I thought, well, maybe it was something like um, that the woman didn't want to stick with these breeding rules and they said, well, actually I like it all the time, I like to fuck all the time, stop drinking the sperm, make love to me, and maybe that was the end of paradise. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I think, but I can say you that in the Bible they say that the people were turning away their face from the God. The God. Yeah. yeah. And they say it like that. And for us they say that the men stopped to drink their own sperm so they could rule over themselves. as otherwise they would be so in tune with nature and cosmic inspiration. Yeah, but I mean, here is one man who is the fuller. Then in the Bible is the woman who was made to go wrong. So there is also one opposite presented. And so definitely that your story is much more an equality of man and woman than in the Bible, because there Adam is born, takes his rib out, and he has a woman. So, and here you have it one complete per man. Ma. <laughs> es per ma. Es, you remember, Sule. Es is the sun. S, per, per, per is Ukko. Es per ma. Like Uden ma, Kumen ma, Hamen ma, Tung ma, Lilin ma, Estin ma, ma. And ma, ma. And every children say mama before they've been listening to the surrounding. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems to come like spontaneous mama for children. Before they had the chance to listen to what is in this family they call the mama. Yeah. So mama must be by natural sound and papa also. Papa, papa, mama, mama, papa. Otherwise it shouldn't exist all over the same world. As you were checking the story, which you heard 20 years long, you were actually brainwashed or brain instructed by your mother and your aunt. My and sister. 
And they were talking to you when you to go in that information. And then when you started to apply it to the rest of the world, to other languages and to history, did you did you find it logical? Did you see like that their story actually fits with the history of mankind as you hear it from other sides? <coughs> I find out that when my surroundings started to drink their own spot, they could in a more real their own thing tell me where they actually could take away something and blood. So they become more pure to tell me their thing when they have been drinking their own spot. Which is like a meditation time. Mm. Or also a physical effect. No, it's physical. All they, all they like to be one communication, sitting together in front of the fire, talking, finding out that now when they've been drinking their own sport, we can communicate in different ways. Because they're more relaxed? More relaxed, more common, be more concrete than before, of course, also you know one other person and one group of people, you know already that they know what you are, you feel, and you can be more short. Mm. And that way you become more take only words, and especially in the sound system, you throw one word to Michelle, example, and we can have nice for that word for 10 minutes, smiling, even in newspaper, they can make such a nice thing for us now. Whereas they also find it out, is one language. So we can, and also we who drink our sperm, I feel that we have been getting much more when this girlfriend is coming who is belonged to one man. She is always sitting with this man and she can't get anything. But when they are coming separately, I think all are very open to this woman because she has not this man there. I feel that everybody who comes with their girlfriend, they can be a little afraid at the beginning that what is this. Because it's anyway some kind of not emotional forever love. It's not, I think, existing that you can see on the result of the planet today where not the system seems work so well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, so, agree on that not so high oh. quality of the man today. No, no all kind of rats is making children. Mm. So the original teaching about mankind actually is man, they have to stay in contact with their own nature, they have to drink their own sperm. The women actually have to support them to do that because if they don't do it, it's not going well for the women also. And that we know now, but I'm not so sure how they must you know it before these men stopped mm. in that paradise by the end. But for the woman it's important to take the power of nature, to take the leaves from the tree and make the tea and drink for their own well-being. Yeah, but also the men was drinking. Also? Yes. But it was for this woman It's always put on this air with this moon and this mahala. So I have been really careful through this film. I think there are lots of this really, but you see it in the air if you will go really through this egg. Mm. You see it there in this film, it's strong, strong, strong. So I think I don't want to answer this. <laughs> 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 well, thank you very much again. Yeah. Yeah, nice that you came again and asked again this <laughs> bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I have found out that you understand. So welcome again. Thank you. Thank you for your visit in Akampesa in my parents' home. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 uh, shaking <laughs> hand, a warm handshake, you say. <laughs> in the postcard. <laughs> bon, bon, bon. <coughs> With many thanks to Mr. Eeyore Bok and the Positive Foundation.
For all information, contact Mr. Stuart Rice, President Positive Foundation, 222 Kanayo, Maui, Hawaii.